while we are living in this world of care. In a world, brothers and sisters, that it, it, it dictates and it, it expects of us to go with the flow. It expects that all of us should just go along and do as everybody is doing. But may I say to us today, That now, the time, the world that we are living in, that the church must be prepared to take a stand for holiness. Regardless of what the enemy will do, we need to take a stand. Hallelujah. Because... It is no secret that when you take a stand for holiness, that the devil is going to throw everything he has at you. But take a stand anyway. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And may I say to us this morning, that in taking a stand, South Jamaica depends on it. If you weren't taking a stand for God, our sister, she, she testifies this morning. When she walked in here a year ago, she would have walked out just the same as she came in. But thank God, there are still men and women who are taking a stand for Almighty God. Hallelujah. It all boils down to one thing. As the songwriters sing, let the church be the church. Because you know what? As the church, we have already settled the question in our minds. And we have already made a choice. We will stand for Almighty God. Ezekiel says in Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 30. And I sought for a man among them. That should make up the edge and stand in the gap before me, said Almighty God. To stand in the gap for Almighty God. For South Jamaica, for New York in general, for the U.S., for the world. Are you willing and ready to stand in the gap? Because God is seeking a man or a woman to stand in the gap. We, we, we live in a day, in a world today, where it is every man for himself. We live in a world today where, where the very word of God is being challenged. We live in a world today where men and women don't believe that holiness, hallelujah, should be adhered to. But may I say to us today that holiness is God's standard of living 
living for his people. And anything less than that, we are not the children of God. Because the children of God call upon the name of God and obey the word of God. We live in a world today where morality is nothing more than a password. And the standard of righteousness have become, have been reduced to every man doing in his own sight what he thinks is right. But may I remind us today that holiness and righteousness before almighty God is what God requires of us. He doesn't require our money. He doesn't require our homes or our car. But he requires that we live holy and righteously before him all the days of, of our life. May I just quickly inform us and remind us that we're in a war not against flesh and blood. We're in a war. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Not against those who might hurt us. We're in a war, believers. Not against those who would want to blow us off the planet Earth. But we are in a war against principalities and powers. Against the rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. We are in a spiritual war, believers. A war that is not fought with bombs and guns. We're in a war that is fought in the minds. Hallelujah. Because it is in the mind that the devil attacks and tries to defeat us. All of them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are in a war. A warfare. And it is time that the church become militant. It is time that the church recognize that we are harm and dangerous. It is time that the church recognize that we have the weapon. The weapon of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to almighty God. He's expecting that we are going to fight the good fight of faith. We are going to fight for the souls of humanity. In the way that you know God wants you to grow them up. And suddenly... After going off to school, they come back home and start acting up. And everything you say, they have a counter to what you have to say. And everything you want to be done, they want it to be done in the opposite way. And they believe that they are now it. May I tell you that that is the war that we are fighting. Because the devil is using our children to get at us. The devil is capturing the minds of our children. But I say to you today, rise up and take back your children from the devil. And don't allow him to destroy your children. Because we...